Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is George from Team for more The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing. And we are in the second part of the quest line, and I'm starting off with this quest to defend the town. So, you talk to the mayor after you've saved him from Croakwood, and all the bad guys, all the werewolves and all the creepy guys come in and try and attack the city, or the town. So we're going to get them, and after that I'm going to go into the... Inkwell, which is the crazy topsy-turvy warp kind of place of this game. So hopefully for this episode I might get one of the new um, areas skill points, sorry, for the Excalibur sword which I got, which is on one of the videos beforehand, because you need to come out with some small little, uh, you need to, well you need to do some little challenges to get it. Hopefully I might get the 15,000 damage. I doubt it, but it'd be quite nice. So basically you've got to defend all the different parts of the, of the, of the village. So at the moment we are in the... Well, uh, Protect the Village Church. This probably looks like the... Oh, what is this one? Shop? No. That'll be Southgate most likely. Well, these guys are doing a bit of damage. Oh, they're elite. That's pretty why. Oh, they got on them. Yeah, Katarina's leveled up. Lovely. Quickly put our skills up. Just put some more. Just put some body to give some health. I'll show you one statue as well where you can put the mysterious gemstones in, which helps towards the end of the game where you have to put it in. Oh, more. You, it, it's to get some lots of ch lots of chests in the uh, city at, towards the end of the game. And you get lot. I didn't get it last time. I didn't do it. I wasn't really. I didn't go for it. I just wanted to get through the game and see how it played, and so I get a better idea of how to do it the second time round when I was recording. But basically, you put three Mystic Gems in there, and then it, you got to put them in a two. I think it's two more statues, and then that's how you get the big chests and big rewards. Is this, what's this better? Is this any good? Just... Hmm. I can go on her. What's that? Dodge. You don't do that one. There again. Sorry about that. And the statue for the first one is just up. Jesus Christ, more of these things, really? Just up, just up here. At the moment, I've only got one uh, gemstone. You should get three before you travel to the city because you can't get back after that. These things are kind of give themselves by walling me across and not actually being able to attack me. So this cleave is really good as well. Hardly uses any mana. So what's up here? Let's get the map. That's that done. So I've only got the. Westgate and this great statue and this is said statue up here. This is where you put all the Oh god, fire, 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 fire. So you put all the uh, gemstones. Uh, you sh I think you get them all by the end of the next is it the next little zone, the marsh, bog bog marsh, whatever it's called. If not, you can always pull back maybe oh Jesus. Whenever you get back. These things are bloody. How many are there? Jesus. What are they? They're like women covered in like mud. That's quite creepy. Quite creepy, very creepy. So you come over here, this is a big statue of some hero, and there's three slots so you can put them in. I can't do it at the moment because I'm in the this challenge or event even. But it's the these myst mysterious gemstones. You put three of those in there. And that kind of unlocks it for the next bit. Ah, oh, more really ice damage, blood bomb. Oh, blood bomb. Blood bomb's quite a nice one because they can't breathe. Once you hit, you hit one. That means you hit them all, which is quite good. So you have to do less damage. Ah, oh, draining my mana. Mana on there. It's quite nice. Um, I'm quite looking forward to seeing what Excalibur does. Right, that's that all done. Leather belt, okay. Let's see, what have I got left? So I've got 115 kills and I've done 7,900 damage for the first two. 
And I, I'm not entirely sure what I'll get. It'd probably be health and um, defense, maybe, because it's. Uh, well, I don't know. I'm, I'm very. I'm looking forward to seeing what it is. It'd be very interesting. Because I found a sword and a gun last game, which were that line of. Um, you have to do things to unlock them, unlock their full, full potential. And they were very good. I still use one or two of them, I think. Or one, Katarina's got one of them, got the sword, which is the melee for me. So this is the ink. Oh god, straight, straight into the fight here. Uh, I don't think I actually scattered all this out last time, so this is me failing last time not to get my level 30, which is probably easy to get. So it's got specials in here. I love the ink, I wish there was more, more in it. I think you're going a couple of times. It's very cool. One thing's floating around. But I think what, melee is actually pretty decent. I didn't realise how much damage you didn't take when you had it. Mystic lessons, next crap. Don't need that. Okay. Carrying on. You, the, you do find some really annoying things in here. There's these little brain things. I think I killed some a second ago. And these spit things. And towards mid to end game, they start doing an absolutely buttload of damage. And they, cut, they see you. They can see you on the map, or you can see them. So all you see is these little, like um, spheres, not spheres. Sorry, uh, little glowing balls flying across the screen towards you. And there's like 50 of them. It's quite terrifying. If they all hit you, you're absolutely screwed. The werewolves, on the other hand, they're quite cool. They don't bother me as much. Harpies are still fighting. Oh, there's a special one. Silverback. That's some sort of gorilla, do you know? Anyway. Oh, I'll just die. Uh, pendant, that, 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 that. Let's go. Nothing there. A shame. Well, I wish I did more damage. I thought range has on now, but I suppose I'm more. I don't take as much damage. Which is also very good. Only if you could combine the two. Unless we're super aggressive. Not have any defences. So I... Jesus Christ. That was close. That was scary. Oh, uh, special. Get out of the way. Oh, does he have grapple? Is that why she's being a bit of a knob? Hey, leave her alone. I grow attached to her. She's my friend. Ah! She's my she's my guest. She's my I'm I'm overly attached to her. Alright, it's just this one left. Oh, she's dead. Alright, lovely. Why brimmed hat? I don't have a hat. So it's better than my hat. Um I can go on her. Get up there. Is there anything else around? No. Oh, I probably should have got that first. What does it do? Oh, gold. Oh, that, there's another mysterious gem. So just one more before I get. Before I can fill that whole one up. What do these ones do? Ice damage, torn up. tornado, and fire tornado. Well, that's just. That's just unfair. Just die. Cut. Ooh, jeez. No, no, no. Fluttering, eh? Do 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 do. Might have been another one I didn't clear because this one's shorter than I remember. What if these guys got dragged in? Must have done. I went fishing in the well and it didn't turn out for them very well. Hmm. Special ones again. What's these ones? Ah. Ah, oh, these are the things I hate. Myth mythical. Poison damage, fire tomato and grapple. Yeah, the oh no, these aren't the ones I hate. They're like these, but they just shoot stuff at you and they do a ridiculous amount of damage. Right, crate, I think. Uh, oh! Is that everywhere here? 
That, that, that. Yeah, that's all that done. Alchemist bag. Oh, right, okay, that's all that. That's all that done. I thought it was longer and bigger than that. Obviously not. So we come to the alchemist. You can do science again. Congratulations. You must be so happy with this stuff. So you can learn more things of him. So he's got treasure hunt of passive. Increases gold find chance. Clear shot. Plus 3% range damage if no enemies within 10. And a increase your defense and also causes part of your damage done to you to be taken from your mana. So that's, that's actually not bad for me to get now. Defense increased by 29, so 40% of your spell power. So I'd have to build a spell power. Reduce damage suffered by 7%, but you lose 7% of damage you from your mana. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Let's go sell some stuff. Got another white brimmed hat. Hmm. Mine's got resistance on it. That might help me a bit more. Stranger, have you managed to find that? Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Don't need that, don't need that. That's better. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. I could nope. Uh nope. So back. And the next lot of quests are in the what's it called? That's not gonna tell me, is it? Gallows Bog, that's the one. This is where there's tons and tons and tons of mobs. There is a another special place, you, special kind of, of not vent, um, extra little bit where you got you got to get all these um, bud, bl blood, bone shards, and you throw them into a big, um, a big old frog's mouth. Which is quite funny and quite cool. So where do we have first on this place? Uh, it's the bombs first, I think. Oh, I guess the bomb site first. That's the closest one. I still don't know. I'm just dying. I got off. These things are quite cool. They look cute. Although they want to kill you, but they still look quite adorable. They're really crazy little dogs. Right, oh, I got character sheet. Five points to spend. Might put that on there. Take some more melee damage. Skills, three points to spend. So let's put some more in cleave. Get that up. Oh, just one up. Alright, I'll only get one up. What do I want to put in that one? No. Save, 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 bonus to parry to, of the equip. Ah, oh, it's of the equipped sword. Right, that makes. An annoying sense. So we put more in strike. Oh wait, can I get one of those? No. So I want oh, right. Okay. Uh, okay, we'll come across. So basically, these rusty bombs you need to get. They're all by a downed kind of. Oh, these have an unstoppable attack, so you got to watch out for them. They're all by a downed airship. Ugh. And there's an event for that actually. Ah. There's an event for that as well, actually. My girly screams, I apologise. Where you press a big red button, she says don't press it, but let's be honest, if you get to press a giant red button, you're going to press it, and then you get ambushed by lots of crazy soldiers. Oh god. Whoa, you can, this is one of the areas you can do on Scenario, which is one of the DLCs, and it makes it a lot more interesting when the mobs are a lot higher level. I think they're level 32 or something, and they do... An absolute ton of damage. Bugger off a little. Oh, rune ah, rune stone. The, there is a few of these spread out on this map, and uh, if you click on all of them, towards the end of the map, you get a like a special boss kind of releases his spirit. So he's got. Oh, he actually hit me. Um. So he's just. Bleh. So yeah, he, he's an elite sort of mob, he's got some special gear on him. God, this is going to be a lot harder as melee. Especially when these ones are elite. When they can become elite. Uh -huh. Miss me. Uh. So yeah, click all the rune stones you find, and then it will tell you when there's the special mobs. If you've clicked them all, 
It goes, oh, something's released its spirit in the wild. And you go over and you get kill it. And it's a quest to get ability points and body, I think both of them maybe. So you get extra stats, so it's just not, it's not something to miss, which is really good. So she's leveled up. I just, oh no, she's just got skill. Oh god, I was not paying attention to that. Oh, these, these frog kind of guys are quite, they do quite a lot of damage. And there's a special one in there somewhere. But where? Ah, oh, this is going to make it more interesting. Yeah. What have they got? Mana Drain, Hound Procedural. Yeah, these are going to make it. Li no! 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 Leave her alone. Oh, she actually went away there. She's going to die. She's dead. She's dead. She's dead. I'm going to die. Oh, God. Come on. Oh god, there's one. There's a lot more. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck on a sigil. Stuck on a sigil. Get out. Get out. Talk about annoying. Jesus, those things are annoying. Is he the last one left alive? He must be. Hmm. I learned on this game as well that the best way you can actually on some of the mobs and one of the bosses, in, I think it's the end of this mob, boss, boss the end of this kind of map, you can actually kill him. Kill his, you can line of sight him, which is if you're used to um, old sort of PvPing on WoW and stuff like that, you can line of sight people so they can't actually get you. So they've got to keep moving around to try and get you, and you can just... If you get out of their line of sights, they can't attack you. Which is quite funny. They're raging because they can't hit you, and you're just rolling around, lolling the face. I prefer these guys, but I was... Jesus Christ. No. No. no she, she finally gets back... Jesus. She finally comes back alive, and I get her killed. I'm not the best leader. I'm an awful leader. I can only apologize. Did that hit me? No, it's not. Ooh. Come on, I just want to go to the airship. Come on. So yeah, when I get to the airship, I'll clear, look for the bombs that I need to look for. Um, and then I'll probably get the... If I don't get all the bombs, because they're, they're quite hidden, it took me a while to get them last time. I will show you how, where they are, what they kind of look like. I'll start the event, and that'll probably be the end of this episode, and I'll get ready to start doing the next bit. I don't want to make these episodes too long. The last one was 40 minutes, which was quite a long time. It's quite a lot to watch, and I apologise for that. And these mobs do not make making things quicker easy, do they? There's so many. Why well, nearly there? God, it's all the way there. Oh no, no, it's here, isn't it? It must be here. Yeah, this is the um, this is the airship crash site. This is where you'll find the bombs. Oh, there's a bomb over there. I'll quickly go get that in a, in a second. Once these things are finally stopped dying. I need to find a way if I can see if I can get health things to pop up above their heads, because that would make life much easier. Down here, on the crate. Nope, they think good in there. Actually, have I got a. Alright, oh, so I've got plus 5 to all attributes and plus 3 to fire damage for getting the first two uh, uh, first two little event things for my sword. So the next one's 500 kills and then 800 kills. So it's quite a good sword. I'll put it like that. So come along here. Where's the. Is that bomb? I swear to god I saw something. Obviously not. I must have done. No. I get out of way. Ah, oh, I must have just been his body. Anyway. We'll carry on. We'll slaughter these crazy mud covered women. Quite terrifying actually. Come on, just die. Get out of the way. 
Okay, so the bombs look like this. And they are very hard to see most of the time. And I don't know, but I'm okay. There's an achievement to get five without them blowing up, like, without them blowing up in your face. But I don't know how you're going to do that. So we come, there's, oh, there's another one there. So this is, I wonder if they only blow up when there's mobs around. That would make some sort of sense. So this is a cool little aircraft, it's not a cool little one, it's quite huge and it's still awesome. So this is the aircraft carrier, I'm not going to It's a high air balloon or a zeppelin, that'd be the one. Big red button, press that bad boy. Oh god, and this is what happens. Which is quite cool, so I've shown you the bombs, I've showed you the big red button, what it does, it just makes these crazy guys appear, and I think that'll be that, that for this episode. And I, th I think I've got a perk actually as well, so we can see what that one is first, Furious. Oh, I leveled up. What a nice way to end an episode, leveling up. So we have... the hell? I oh, know. So next episode I will get the a lot of res. In fact, I'll just go through those first. Okay, Furious just gives me plus 20 rage. The items I just received are another wide brimmed hat, and it is slightly better than mine. Gloves are mine are better. And the ring. It's not bad actually. Not bad. Right, quickly level up, show you what I get. I'll go straight for body again to get the damage increase. Um, skills, I'll go another one into. Let's think about this logically. What do we want? Increase da melee damage. Yes. I think those guys would come to. No. no. If we go for another one and cleave to get that. Du What's that? One meter range. That's quite good. Um, each kill with strike heals you for 10 HP. That'd be quite good at level 10. Where do we go get that? What's that one? Let's get more, one more in parry. One more in bash. And then I've got another little perk, which is resistance, smash level 20. So I think that's 20 points spent in... Yeah, 20 points spent. In this area, so I got plus 10 to all resistances, which is very nice. Katarina's leveled up as well, so if I go. Wait, that's, my, that's mine, don't want that one. On to hers. If I get her to go up. Let's go up that again. So she got four skill points, and I will put. What do I need to be level 8? Oh, she needs to be level 8. Damn. I put one on there. One on there. Put two on there actually, and I'll put another one on there. So that's she's gonna heal me, heals Van Helsing for 1.9% of max HP with each strike. So I'll probably get a body up to get that. That'd make more sense. Right, oh, but I got another one of those. So five body plus 5% selling price. Alright, don't know. Anyway. So that's that, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please rate and comment and like, that'd be very nice. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks, guys. See ya. Bye.